G'day, my name is David Joy, and this is the David Joy Summer. So if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, basically on this channel I do hair videos um, and every Sunday I try to do a personal vlog. So if you like my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload and leave a comment on the videos so I know who you are. Be That would be awesome. So in this video I'm going to show you how I put in uh, tape in hair extensions. Uh, we've got blue and purple, a live model. Um, I'm gonna explain to you how I do it. You know, I've watched a lot of tutorials on people doing this. It's really, um, this is just how I do it. Everyone has their own way of doing it. It's just, let's just, let me show you. So my hair extensions are about 22 inches long. I always use real hair and they run anywhere from $60 to $100 for 10 strands per color. Before we even start, let's talk about placement. I'm going to be doing a brick layered effect. Um, we're doing the colored hair extensions for fashion purposes, not to make her hair actually longer. So the reason why we do the brick layered effect so I can see each color and there's no gaps in between. Now it's important to get this down before we even start the client. This would be looking at the back of the head and these are the sections that we're going to be taking. And this would be the side sections, we're just going to put a few on the side because we want to do like a peekaboo sort of look with these hair extensions. Okay, this is our model today. This is what a hair looks like before we even start. So I want to keep the blonde on the top. So I'm just going to go through and throw some blonde on the very top before we even start. This is what it looks like after I put the blonde in. I've washed it with a clarifying shampoo and just flat ironed it out, ready to start. I'm just going to take a section right in the middle from the top of the ear to the other side. You can see here just taking that section. Now this guideline that I'm creating, this is actually going to be the middle of my hair extensions. I'm going to do one above this and one below this. And the reason why I'm taking this section first is so I can determine where we're going to put that middle hair extension because you don't want to get too close to the crown you don't want to get too close to the nape or on either side so when they wear their hair up you're not going to see that extension or the tape in so I'm just going to take my section below it to start with if you've never done tape in extensions before what I typically do is lay them all out before I even start I've taken my section below and I'm just breaking off the sides there you want to go about an inch in on either side because we really do not want to see that tape in at the roots if she wore it up so I'm just going to clip that out of the way with the brick layer effect I'm actually going to start in the middle section I'm going to take a really fine section here where my first extension is going to lay underneath the hair I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to pin it out of the way because I don't have an assistant to hold it for me so we just pin that out of the way while we pick up the extension I've grabbed the extension I've let that hair drop down and all we're going to do is place that underneath that first section A lot of people I've seen use tail combs to hold this in. I actually feel like the tail comb gets stuck on the glue a bit. So I tend to use my finger and then I use the end of the tail comb just to make sure that it's connected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another extension just to place over the top. And this seals that first section. I've seen people use flat irons to actually seal this. I typically don't because I tend to use 100% real hair and if the hair is good quality that means the glue is going to be good it's going to stay so that's basically how you put tape in extensions in now I'm going to go on to my side section and just start that brick layer effect as we talked about at the start now as I said these hair extensions are 100% real hair and there's a lot of do's and don'ts when using them I think one of the most important things that you need to take away from this is have a plan before you even start. Lay it out on a, on a template or on a piece of paper so you know where your placements are. 
So I'm just going to work my way around doing the brick layer effect. And as I said, these are for fashion purposes. We're not actually trying to make her hair longer. We're just trying to give her a little peekaboo color underneath of the blonde that we actually put on the top. Look, I just alternated the colors as I go up, but a lot of people do it different ways. Look, I love the way this turned out. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. It just gave it that vibrant little bit of peekaboo color coming through the bottom. I couldn't have been more happy with it. I know the client was happy with it. Overall, you just got to take your time, work your sections out before you start, and you'll always end up with a good result. Look, let me know what you think in the comments down below. That would be much appreciated. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. It would be much appreciated.